and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Revenue and profit boosted by higher passenger demand and strict cost reductions at FRAPORT in 2021. The COVID-19 pandemic continued to impact Freeport AG's financial performance in the fiscal year 2021, ended December 31st. Nevertheless, Freeport increased its revenue and operating result EBITDA year on year, despite the ongoing volatile market environment. This positive trend was mainly supported by the company's strict cost management and by the ongoing traffic recovery during the second half of 2021 in Frankfurt, and particularly at the group's airports worldwide. The group result net profit moved clearly back into positive territory, reaching 91.8 million euros at year-end 2021-2019, minus 690.4 million euros. Report AG's CEO, Dr. Stefan Schulte, commented, We have used the past year to further increase our competitiveness, thus strengthening Freeport's position for future growth. We have realigned our company by implementing strict cost management and, where necessary, adopting immediate personnel reduction measures, in response to noticeably lower traffic volumes now. Freeport has become a leaner and more efficient company than before the pandemic. This will be a decisive factor for our future success, while also entailing even greater flexibility, also in view of the current geopolitical situation. A look at the current flight booking situation gives cause for optimism. The booking figures clearly underscore that people are eager to travel again. For this reason, we are now focusing on ramping up operations. This includes plans to recruit up to 1,000 operational staff in 2022. At the same time, we are intensifying our climate goals. Our aim is to become carbon-free by 2045 in Frankfurt, as well as at all our group airports worldwide. Current booking situation is cause for optimism. Freeport intensifies climate commitment for carbon-free operations across the group by 2045 long-term growth perspective remains intact. FRAPORT, CEO Schulte, C. Positive financial performance largely driven by traffic growth. Global travel restrictions still dampened passenger demand in the beginning months of 2021. Traffic first picked up again noticeably during the summer. A total of 24.8 million passengers traveled via Frankfurt Airport FRA, in 2021, representing an increase of 32% year-on-year, 2019, down 65%. Most of the airports in Freeport's international portfolio also benefited from people's renewed desire to travel to warm weather destinations, with some group airports seeing significant passenger growth. In October 2021, traffic nearly reached pre-crisis levels at the Greek airports and Antalya airport on the Turkish Riviera. Across the group, traffic growth rates ranged between 31% at Ljubljana airport and 126% in Antalya, year-on-year. -year. Cargo throughput at Frankfurt airport, comprising air freight and airmail, also continued to grow in 2021. Despite the lack of belly capacity on passenger aircraft, FRA even hit a new record for cargo traffic in fiscal 2021. This underscores Frankfurt's vital role as one of the leading cargo hubs in Europe. Reflecting Freeport's overall positive traffic performance, group revenue rose by 27.8% year-on-year to 2.14 billion euros. Adjusted for revenue from construction and expansion measures at Freeport's subsidiaries worldwide, in line with IFRIC 12, group revenue grew by 30.9% to 1.90 billion euros. Driven by revenue growth and a further significant reduction in operating expenses, Group EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization, clearly climbed back to positive territory in fiscal 2021, reaching 757 million euros, 2019, minus 250.6 million euros. This growth was also supported by crisis-related compensation payments and other pandemic compensation granted by governments, totaling around 320 million euros. Group EBIT also increased markedly to 313.7 million euros 2019, minus 708.1 million euros. 
The group result, net profit, recovered from a loss of 690 million euros recorded in 2020, the first pandemic year to a gain of 91.8 million euros in 2021. Cost reductions enable for Port to focus on ramping up operations. In mid-year 2021, Proport already achieved its self-set goal of reducing personnel expenses at Frankfurt. By then, about 4,300 jobs were cut in a socially responsible manner, leading respectively to reduced staff costs. Further savings were achieved by implementing short-time work for employees, under Germany's Kurzerbiet program. However, Kurzerbiet only applied to the non-operational staff at Frankfurt throughout the full year 2021. For operational staff, short-time work was gradually reduced in the course of the year in tandem with the ramp-up of airport operations. In addition, Proport started recruiting operational staff again, strict cost management and ongoing group development. Proport implemented measures to counter the pandemic crisis at a very early stage. Because these measures have proven effective, the group is now focusing on streamlining processes and aligning organizational structures to further increase efficiencies. In addition, the company will continue its strict cost management policy, by reducing or deferring all investments unessential for maintaining operations. At the same time, Proport continues to pursue important strategic investments for the future, such as the construction of Frankfurt Airport's new Terminal 3. On the site of the new terminal, the largely completed Pier G is being put into inactive standby mode. Should strong passenger demand require additional capacity, Pier G, which is scheduled to open in 2026 could be taken into operation ahead of schedule on a flexible basis, requiring a minimum 12-month preparation period, for Port Accelerate's sustainability goals. Despite the ongoing business challenges in the second pandemic year, for Port set the course in 2021 for an even more ambitious climate goal. The airport operator has committed to becoming carbon-free at all of its locations across the group by 2045. This commitment comprises an extensive package of measures to be adopted at the group's home base Frankfurt Airport but also serves as a guideline for Fraport's group airports worldwide. Fraport's climate package explicitly excludes measures that merely offset carbon. In Frankfurt, Fraport has been purchasing electricity from existing onshore wind turbines since July 2021. Another milestone followed in December last year with the signing of an agreement between Fraport and energy provider NBW. Under this agreement, NBW will supply some 85 megawatts of electricity per year to Frankfurt Airport from an offshore wind park, starting in 2026. Other Fraport measures include increasing the use of photovoltaic arrays for generating electricity, switching incrementally to renewables to power the vehicle fleet, as well as a number of other improvements to enhance energy efficiency, outlook. For the current 2022 business year, Fraport's executive board expects traffic at Frankfurt Airport to range between approximately 39 million and 46 million travelers, equaling 55 to 65 percent of the pre-crisis 2019 passenger level. Group revenue is projected to reach about 3 billion euros. Group EBITDA is expected to range between 760 million euros and 880 million euros, while Group EBIT is forecast to rise to between 320 million euros and 440 million euros. The group result, net profit, is expected to reach between 50 million euros and 150 million euros. The current geopolitical situation has already been factored into this outlook to the extent now possible, given all the uncertainty. Fraport AG issued a press release on March 4 about its minority shareholding at St. Petersburg's Polkovo Airport, LED. In view of the ongoing challenging environment and the costs incurred for raising the group's liquidity, the surplus achieved in 2022 is intended to be used for debt reduction, thus further stabilizing the company. In light of this, Fraport's executive board will propose to the supervisory board and the AGM, like in fiscal 2021, not to distribute a dividend for the current 2022 financial year. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.